take you all into something called LDL. Um, why? Because we believe it has a high potential at the moment for the yacht design market because of some benefits that I'm going to show to you. LDL show stands for low displacement to length ratio. Um, well, as you can see, it has proven itself over the years. Um, it was developed first for uh, steamers, probably because the steamers were quite heavy. They were built out of steel, large engines, heavy engines. So to move it, to keep the speed up, they designed something new, or they developed it even further. Uh, basically, you keep the mass low, or spread out over the, over the longer length that you, that you take. Um, well, building light is crucial. Uh, one important uh, difference with most vessels is, um, uh, well, that you have less interior, uh, mostly. We're going to compare three boats today. Dodgers Bank, uh, 72, the Gamma 20, Italian boat, uh, Net 70. We've seen it before in another presentation, but uh, you see the differences here uh, also in, in, uh, in image. The Dodgers Bank is a very uh, comfortable boat. It has a lot of uh, volume. You can take a lot of interior with you. The Gamma 2, but it's a little less uh, deep. And the Net 70 uh, is the LDL concept, uh, as we call it. And uh, it's very shallow, long, and has some benefits too. Uh, fuel consumption, as you can see, for the, the three different concepts and a few more, uh, are so that you see the Net 70, the blue line in the bottom, has uh, well not too many fuel to, to burn when you still sail in the same speeds as the other concepts. Uh, stability curves, as we can see, the Net 70, the LDL hull, is a little bit higher than uh, the Gamma, and definitely higher as the, as the Dodgers Bank. Although the Dodgers Bank is very comfortable to sail, it's a little bit soft. The Net 70 is quite stiff, but very stable. Um, well, then we see the range, uh, because of the, the shallow uh, LDL concept, has not uh, too many fuel to burn. You can uh, imagine that you can sail longer ranges with it. So you can go from Miami, the Caribbean, and back. One other benefit we see here, the Dodgers Bank carries a lot of interior. Maybe it's because of that, but we've seen over the years that, that the, the prices of the yachts are also different. Uh, well, <coughs> maybe because of the division of the rooms, the solutions that we brought up, and some other uh, things that you have to consider when you design LDL concept. We had a client for a concept uh, that we did. And one of the things in the design briefs that was made clear in the beginning was that we had to build her sturdy, uh, easy to build, uh, with a high fun factor. So a lot of fun was involved in the project from the start. Some considerations to make the LDL really LDL, build light, uh, was to, to take artificial uh, teak in, uh, for this project, very thin layer, so not to bring all the, the wood on board. Also, we used uh, very e uh, simple stanchions for the railing with uh, carbon uh, lines instead of steel. And what we did, we thought clever about how to, for example, on the right, uh, still keep the construction stiff, but uh, not add too much light, like a normal uh, bar section or uh, something very complex to, to keep, there was a sunroof, by the way, to keep it stiff. Uh, in the interior, we didn't want to bring too much on board. So as you can see on the right, um, there's no carpentry behind the cushions, so it's very simple but still comfortable. Um, it's all about not bringing too much into the, to, to the interior, so not too much details, not too much wood. Um, the layout, because the boat is, very, um, is not very beamy, um, we didn't uh, made her with a, a hallway downstairs. So upstairs you see two black spots in the back of the superstructure, which is very, which is very um, well um, laid out very simple. The black holes go to two compartments in the aft, so you can carry six people, and without the hallway, and you, you slide them basically together, you still carry two cabins with their own uh, wet area, so that's very, uh, very comfortable for guests. 
some other things that uh, were taken into account were uh, stabilizers and keels because they, they make the, the sailing performances in a, in, sea, uh, in a heavy sea more comfortable. So where the doggers bank is very, very friendly, this was normally very stiff, but now it became better to sail with. Morning's dip, he can tell you all about how, how the boat goes in, uh, in rough weathers. Um, and because of the keels, you can, uh, you can fall dry, as we call it. So in the north of the Netherlands, for example, northern Europe, you, you can, well, experience fun <laughs> like this. Walk around with your family, it's really worth uh, doing so. We pulled it even further. So uh, lately, we came up with this uh, concept uh, from the design uh, department. As you can imagine, no portholes in the hull in front and the aft. So very, very empty uh, spaces are, are um, considered there, which keeps the, the weight also lower. Another thing that we did, uh, it's under construction at the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's a commercial uh, ship. It's also very uh, 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 narrow, still long. If you want to take more on board, you can add containers. You can add two or one. 20 feet uh, container. So you can imagine if you want to use it as a workshop, uh, you can carry a lot with you, then the benefits of LDR are maybe a little, little less, but if you don't need them, you have a very uh, very efficient boat. Um, oh well, uh, why LDL? It's incredible in sea keeping. Um, well, now I have to cheat a little bit, but um, uh, it's best uh, power speed ratio, as I showed you in the graphs. Um, you can still long ranges. Um, and one of the biggest benefits are the lower costs probably uh, as well. And for us designers, you can have the benefits of the sailboat lining, so you can make elegant lines, long lines, something we like. So that's it for, uh, for my speech. Thank you very much.